Okay, let's make sure we're all on the same boat here. So, sixth graders just got their uh, Google accounts made into Google slash Minecraft Microsoft accounts. So what that means is you should be able to sign in with your first name, last initial, so I just did first L there, at student.csd49.org. So if csd49.org doesn't work, you have to include the student right here. Um, that's important. So it's just like your Google email. And then you can use uh, your uh, same password for Minecraft, uh, Education, Minecraft Java if you're in eSports, and Google, and all the services we do. So let me log into mine. And yeah, like I said, your password should be the same to get you into your laptop, into Minecraft, and into everything. Okay, so once you're here, you're gonna go to play. Now, this is for esports. Um, if your team, let's call him team captain or her team captain, creates a world, you just have to click on join world and put in the code your team captain gives you, and boom, you're in. It's that simple. You don't have to do any coding or anything like with Java. But if you're the team captain, you're going to go to create new. And you're going to go to new. Okay, now make the world creative for sure. Keep it peaceful. And keep your permission level member so everybody can come in and build. Now, I like infinite type worlds, but you can just make it flat or old. Whatever you and the team. This should be a team discussion. Um, I like having coordinates. And, and you, you don't need immediate respond. But you want to activate cheats and have code builder on. It's up to you if you want to have it always day. I like to have it always day. And that's it. Then play. Your world will generate. And this is it. For those of you who are doing the Rube Goldberg uh, contest, find a spot. All right. And the spot, uh, you can have people. So you've got the position there in coordinates. You can tell them where to go. But then... Push the escape uh, key and see here, go to where there's people and click on start hosting and then confirm. Look at that. There's the code. All you have to do is call them up on the phone or message them or text them and say, uh, go to join Alex Potion Water Bucket Steve. That's it. You're hosting the world and they can come in and play. So you have to host it. They have to join, and you want all four of you to be building in this world. So you really have to coordinate times when the four of you can meet together. Or if only one of you can meet, the team captain has to uh, start, launch the world, and then click on host again. So I can stop hosting, and then I have to start hosting. So the team captain's really important. It's got to be someone who has kind of a flexible schedule and keeps up with their assignments because you don't want to be able to play and have your team captain in trouble for not keeping up with their work and then you can't build. Because, you know, you seem like you got a long time till March, but March is going to come fast. And March we've got the Capture the Wool League starting, so you don't want to... Um, have something else you're falling behind on. But that's it. If you have any other questions, let me know. But uh, I think this should really get you started. One thing I forgot to say. Totally forgot. Go to View My Worlds. See how uh, this world is called My World? Click on it. Go to Settings. I forgot to tell you. Name your world. Don't keep it My World. That was bad of me. Uh, so you want to name it whatever your theme is. Remember, your Rube Goldberg machine has to have a theme. And, and it has to end with sprinkles being put on top of a cake. So if your theme is... I mean, I'm looking at a pig, so I'm thinking... Pigs eating cake. Uh, that's what you want to name it. And then when you play it, it should save it with your new name. Let's check and see. Save and exit. Save and exit. View world. Ha! Pigs eating cake. There it is. Alright, you're good to go.